Hey, Cameron McKenzie here. Have you been writing code in the main or master branch when you should have been doing it in a feature branch? I want to show you how you can create a new branch, a new feature branch, but move all of your local changes that you may have written in that wrong branch over to the new branch. So I've got a little Git repository here. It's got a file named abc.html in it, and you can see that well, I've basically on the latest commit, nothing has changed, nothing to commit, and there's only one commit in this repository. Now imagine this is the master branch of the team project and you accidentally start writing some code in here. So we touch def.html and all of a sudden we have a new file in our working tree. Uh-oh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to write on master. We actually want to write on another branch. How can I take all of these hard-earned changes and move them onto a, another new branch? It's really easy. All you have to do is say git checkout-b and the new branch name. I'll we'll call it the new feature branch. And now if I take a look here, you can see def has indeed been added. Um, now it's not committed, so to do a commit you still have to do a git add. After you've done a git add you might have to do a git commit. And now all of a sudden we have ABC and DEF all in this new branch, the new feature branch. The other tool thing, cool thing is if we do a git checkout to master since we've done a commit, and this is only going to be real if we've done the commit, you notice that we only have the abc.html, so we don't have that new file that we originally created in the master branch available there anymore. Now one other thing I should mention is uh, you might still in master have a slightly polluted index. If you just want to clean everything up, you can always do a git clean dash f. That will take you right back to where you were when the commit was uh, uh, committed, <laughs> when the branch was pulled in, when that commit was clean. So git clean dash f cleans everything up. Now I don't have any things in my index there, but uh, you may have and that might be the last step you want to do so that that original branch isn't polluted with any of your changes.